If you're into D&D, there's nothing more exciting than rolling a new character. Getting a feel for your new class and backstory is so much fun. If you're a sly and sneaky type, you may find your eyes landing on a rogue. With high ambitions of assassination and mounds of gold in order to do that, here are a few ways to improve your low-level rogue play. I'm Wes. And I'm Cole from Rolling Deep, and this is the intro. Okay, let me break the news to you. I don't enjoy min-maxing my characters. Yes, I like to be somewhat optimized for a utility or a battle niche, but it usually isn't my intention to become the most efficient murder machine on the battlefield. So I feel it would be a bit disingenuous to have me speak on that sort of character building at the moment. Instead, this video is gonna lay some playstyle ideas that might help improve your satisfaction of playing your rogue. Rouge. I like that. So let's take a step back when you're creating your little spy. When you're first selecting your background, I'm sure a few options pop into your head. We have gems in the player's handbook like the charlatan and the entertainers, but the vast majority of people in my experience use the criminal background when making a rouge. There's a few obvious reasons for this. You gain skill proficiencies in deception and stealth, both essential for sleuthing successfully. It also gives you a set of thieves tools and a crowbar for immediate access to heists. I mean, well, you can always heist, but if you actually want to stay hidden, use your tools. If we continue to read, the player's handbook also lists a bunch of specialties that you could have, like a highway robber or enforcer, but this is essentially just flavor. Yum. But like our ancestors, using every part of the animal, your DM could use this as a great insertion point for quest hooks that might be grimier than typically seen. This is where the last feature of criminal background really comes into play. You have a reliable and trustworthy contact who acts as your liaison to a network of other criminals. You know how to get messages to and from your contact even over great distances. Specifically, you know the local messengers, corrupt caravan masters, and seedy sailors who can deliver messages for you. There's a lot to unpack here, and it might be anthrax. So let's approach this from two schools of thought. Either your DM has prepared for you to use this ability, or you're like me and they forget they had the ability and get completely thrown off guard. If you've told your DM beforehand, awesome. Let it roll and surprise everyone at the table. This is also the best solution if you want a better chance at having a fleshed out criminal syndicate. Pasha's Cauldron of Everything has a great section on that that I would really recommend. On the other hand, the way this feature is worded, the player has the ability to wing it hard. Any CD bar, bazaar, or dock instantly becomes a way to get the word out to a trusted source you're in trouble or need a particular item. This stream of information to the players is an insane perk. Even though I'm not a min-maxer, we're going to speak briefly about a battle action that I find first time rouges use wrong. I'll explain. Sneak attack is the thieves most powerful weapon at low levels. The general rule is, once per turn using a ranged or finesse weapon, you may strike your foes for an extra d6 worth of damage. This only a applies under certain conditions. You must have advantage on the attack roll. The other scenario it also applies is when there are two or more enemies within five feet of each other and you cannot have disadvantage on any of your attack rolls. So if you lack an advantage, you'll have to attack a pair of enemies instead of just taking out a single target. Go under the meat shield here and try to get out of there with the disengage after the deed is done. Essentially, pay close attention to your positioning and keep track of enemy movements during combat because you may be missing prime sneak attacks. For a final way to improve your Rogue, we're gonna cheat. I'm gonna load up my dice and let's hit the tables. And if you don't know how, it's way easier than you think, my friend. We here at Rolling Deep don't condone the use of cheating in your sessions, unless everyone is aware of it and you're trying to finesse the NPCs. But think about it. Why wouldn't our Criminal Rouge have a set of loaded dice in their game set? This is a great way they can con cocky NPCs out of their precious items or information. Obviously, you can go to the old ye old market Amazon and get yourself a set for about $15, but there's no craft in that. All you're gonna need is a few tools and items, which is a drill, some nails, a set of wire cutters, or just anything that can get the nails down to size, a marker, and some hot glue. It's extremely straightforward, eh? You're gonna clamp that dice down, put your drill bit into the side opposite that you want it to roll like you drill through the one if you want it to roll a six. If you want high rollers, drill into the single eye and so on and so forth. Go on and give her a little push, not too far. Don't want the weight to be all the way in the middle of your die. Otherwise, all you've done is waste your time. After drilling, cut your nail down to size. You want it to fit. It'll be about 1 16th of an inch if you're doing a standard board game dice, which is 16 millimeters. Use your marker to color the top of the nail and hot glue it to the same depth as about the other indents on the dice. Now you can finally LARP your criminal heart out, you savage. Consider 
Either me, us, your criminal contacts after watching this video. I was going to teach you about how to incorporate waterboarding into your campaigns, but I'm sure your DMs are already torturing you enough. Forget about it. I hope you take my advice to improve your low-level rouge play. Thanks for watching the Rolling Deep video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And be sure to catch us live on Reddit, Twitch, or even here on YouTube. Have a good session and keep, keep on, on rolling. rolling. Intro. <laughs> Our intro is banging. Okay. Um. It's gone. Oh, it's there's no music playing, dude. I'm just in a dancing mood. The energy's back. Okay, so it's good. Okay. Okay.